What's wrong with you? Why won't you do it? I don't think I was in free. <laughs> this is embarrassing. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a mail haul for the month or at least the next several weeks or so because I have a lot of exciting stuff coming in. Normally I buy the majority of my stuff from Japan so I just largely do Makari Japan hauls but every now and then I have a bunch of separate things coming at once so i wanted to start here full disclosure i did open this package already but i really did want to show it because it's from esther and this box is seriously almost it's like nine months in the making i won't say a year but it it's almost a year in the making because this is a package that i had originally intended for her to send me back in december of 2021 and then we just kind of kept adding stuff here and there to it so it finally got to the point where it could be sent which is really exciting and i kind of wanted to open it on a phone call with her so that's what we did and then i went out of town so i couldn't record it and so now that i'm back i'm going to open this because it has some really exciting stuff in it so starting off though i got an exciting thing which i don't buy too often unless they're new releases but i got happy ever after fourth muster she had asked me if i wanted this because she was buying Hobie's DVD card for a very good price and the DVD came with it and she has a caddy that she sends stuff to so I said yes why not it was a really good price for an older DVD and I know this one isn't huge in demand but it was a good price so I was happy to grab it and I'm really excited I don't have too many DVDs especially the older ones I do have fifth muster so that's exciting but I don't have fourth muster, obviously, which is why I got it. But now I do. DVD collecting is definitely something I would really like to get into more once I have reached more of my photo card paper goals because I am such a hoe for paper. And I let other merch things kind of fall by the wayside. So DVD collecting is definitely something. Esther, what? Popping, guys. <laughs> Wait, there's literally no way. Do you know how many times I asked her if there was a postcard in the <laughs> She's gonna be so shocked. Okay, seriously, when she bought this, I was like, I hope the postcard comes with it. And then it got sent to her friend in Korea and they said no postcard. And then it got sent to Esther in Canada. And she also said, yeah, there's no postcard in there. And then even when I opened it last week, I was like, yep, no postcard in here. I guess I didn't flip through. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. That was so, that was unexpected. I did not expect that was going to be in there. So amazing news because I have an empty spot for a muster postcard because as I was saying, I have the fifth muster DVD. So I have that postcard, but I needed another one. So this is so exciting. <laughs> I literally can't believe this was in here. It really shows you you have to actually open things up thoroughly because I did the same thing with the postcard from B, the undisclosed mini poster and that postcard. I didn't even know I owned the postcard because I never actually unsealed the lyric notebook. So make sure you know what you're getting because yay now I have this postcard all right well that was hilarious I don't even remember what I was talking about I think I was talking about that I'm eager to collect more of the DVDs once I am done being a hoe for paper <laughs> then I will move on to DVDs so anyway let's get into the actual stuff of Esther's package like I said I've already opened it but I put it back in this box just to be dramatic so starting off my mother always raised me to read the card first so let's read the card there's actually kind of funny stuff in it so part of the reason why this box was so delayed is because i ended up ordering my jack-in-the-box merch to her friend and then i wanted her friend to send the, my jack-in-the-box merch with esther's stuff so that is why i got i bought three of them but i only kept one of the outer box 
I guess the outer flaps, if you can call it that. I did buy three of the albums though, so I could get all the inclusions anyway. This card is hilarious for so many reasons. One, I did buy Jimin's light spoiled love changing jacket from Esther. She sent me this beautiful JK fan art that she made and also this beautiful Jimin fan art that she made. I really, really, really love it. Like I could cry looking at this, especially this one because this is one she had made before, but this is one that she just made for me and she intentionally put green all over it. If you don't know the lore behind Esther in green, Esther hates green, and so she intentionally made that photo very green, but jokes on her, it looks amazing, so. And then this ridiculous card. If this is your first video of mine, I'm sorry, because this is not going to make any sense, but she refers to me as the defender of green, just because I tell her she's insane for not liking the color of green. But she said, following our last exchange concerning the color green, it has come to my attention that you feel very strongly about it. Well, green. Thus, I now bequeath to you the title of Defender of Green. Additionally, as an act of goodwill, please accept this small gift I have prepared. Despite my best endeavor at making this piece of art entirely or mostly green, I unfortunately failed. Least to say that my desire to become the bane of your existence is lower than my hatred of green. In fact, it was a painful and arduous experience. Signed, Certified Cup Green Hater, The Devil on Your Shoulder, or perhaps the bane of your existence, Esther and then says she hasn't decided if she's lucky to be my friend. Well, joke's on you, Esther. The green looks amazing, iconic. I'm not even obsessed with the color green. I just hate that her hatred of green is entirely irrational. But there we go. Okay, now we can get into the meat of it now that we've read Esther's decree. Anyway, I'm gonna try not to spoil it just because it's all sitting here. But first, like I said, I did finally get my Jack in the Box merch which is so exciting. I have bought a lot of A5s lately actually, and I don't think for now at least that I'm going to put solo stuff in an A4, but we will see as time moves on, maybe that will change. But for Hobie stuff, I believe this was a pre-order benefit. This is the card that everyone gets, I think. This is one of the pre-order hollows. I got two of them, because like I said, I ordered his album three times, and then I was able to also get this pre-order benefit. Yeah, this is the one that comes with them all, which is why I have three. These were my pulls. I'm very happy to have it. I think I'm going to do kind of an eight pocket spread in an A5, so it's all Jack in the Box on one page. Next up is a DVD card, which was truly an insane stroke of luck. Esther realized that her friend who doesn't collect but is a fan of BTS and has bought their DVDs before told her back a while ago that she had pulled Tay's third muster card and it was just sitting in her DVD on her shelf. So she sold it to me which is so nice. It was really fun to get it for kind of an old DVD card price, especially this card. So anyway, next up are some exciting tour PCs, starting with, I believe this is a Tagi unit. Yes, Tagi unit. I don't actually know if I'm going to complete these units, but I wanted to get a Tagi unit because Tagi is in my bias line and I love them. So there's that. And then this is so excitingly the missing Jimmy that I need for fourth muster. So we've got a lot of fourth muster representation today in this haul, but I was able to buy this from her so I could complete my set, thankfully. And then also excitingly, this is the last Yoongi card that I need for Permission to Dance LA merch, which means I'm done with his set and now officially everything is on hand and I'm done with Permission to Dance for the tour merch at least. So that is exciting. The next thing I grabbed from her was a little off book. It was something I've intended to buy, but definitely wasn't a priority, but because she was selling it to me and I knew that she knew what was real, I wanted to get it. So this is from Love Yourself Japan. I really can't remember where this is from. It's Wallet or Passport. I'll put it up on the screen what it is, but I definitely wanted to get Beeman for these for my merch section. So I need to make room for him in there because I don't really have a spot for him yet, but I'll definitely get Jimin's too because I really, really like those. Next up is one of the ones that I'm missing for Jimin for third muster. This is number two of five, so I just need four of five and then five of five, and I will be done with his. And then very excitingly, this is actually a trade that we did. I traded her 
one of my Veeman Butterfly Dream cards because for some reason I ended up with two and I traded her in exchange for this. I know it's technically a June Butterfly Dream card, but it really looks like a Tay June one to me, which are also two of my bias line members. So I really wanted this Tay June Butterfly Dream card. So this will also have to find a home in my Butterfly Dream section because currently that section is full, but I will happily make room for this Tay June card because it's really freaking adorable. Okay, we are in the final stretch of things from Esther. Speaking of fourth muster, my gosh, she was able to sell me Tay's full fourth muster cloud card set. These, similar to the DVD and the cards that I already have, have a little sun damage on them, which is fine. They're yellowed a little bit. I really don't understand what happened to this material because it happened to my mini PCs for Veeman. It also happened to that DVD that I just showed you, and it also happened to the cloud cards. So hopefully that will be okay, but this is Tay's full fourth muster cloud card set. It's nice to just get it in one go because these aren't cards I'm crazy about, but I do like how they look when they're lined up in the six pocket vertical. So I'm excited that I've started to make progress on this set. Okay. And then finally, actually, no, we have two things left. I'll start with the thing that started this package. This is a card that I've had secured for so long and it was the reason why I wanted to buy from her in the first place. She really struggled to get JK's Sao Paulo bookmark and she pulled Tay's. So she's had Tay's for forever and last November or something, I think, she finally gave in to selling him and asked me if I wanted it and I did so I bought it from her and that's how this whole package started was with this Tay Sao Paulo bookmark. So as of now, and honestly, as of the Speak Yourself, the final announcement, since we're getting OT7 bookmarks, I'm completely up to date on the bookmarks, which is exciting. Um, I guess I'll put you here, TT. And then finally, the most exciting part of this package for me is HYYH Taiwan postcard. I don't really know what these are called, if I'm being honest. This is the colored version. There are some black and white versions as well. This is the back of it. She had bought this initially, and then I think she found a set of all of them. So she had a duplicate and sold me this duplicate, which I'm just so happy about. I think it's so, so pretty, and I cannot wait to put this in my binder, especially because I'm going to be in the process of moving Japan into an A5. I'm also going to put my very tiny little Taiwan collection in the A5 too. So just so exciting to have. But yeah, that is a Taiwan postcard from HYYH era, obviously. And that is the haul that we got from Esther. So I do have another little package open. I need to be careful not to hurt my cards. But I did get the membership kit in the mail last night. So I wanted to open it. I did take out my membership card, but then I realized that our names are on the back this time, not the front, so I just threw it back in here. But this is the card, so that's fun. And the one thing that I wanted to open on camera was the photo cards. So I'm a big fan of this concept, a lot more than I was of last year's concept. RIP that straight haired blonde JK. I'm happy we've moved on to greener pastures. <laughs> Here we are with the photo cards. I'm also happy that it looks like they're normal a pocket page size, so none of that weird size anymore either, thank goodness. I seriously, it's been so long. I forget that he's had this short of hair not even so long ago, because all of BTS is seemingly in their long hair era right now. This is so freaking cute, are you kidding me? Jenny, he looks angelic. We have more pink Yoongi, which I appreciate so much. We got so much pink haired Yoongi content in photo card form. It's actually insane. And we've got another Jack Frost Hobie. So cute. We've got Sun Kissed Jimin, King, Golden Hour. He looks gorgeous. We've got Tay Tay being Tay Tay. You know, I love him and will support him through anything even him hating taking selfies. So I love him and he's adorable. And then JK, outstanding. Look at that nose, icon king. And the trees behind him, I love it. He looks amazing. So I'm a big fan of this set. I think it's really cute. I'm gonna keep it all 
because why not? <laughs> I don't have a lot of membership kit stuff and the stuff that I do I already have OT7 so I will just keep those full sets because it's fun. And then last but not least for this clip, I do have one more thing I wanted to open and show you. This is so clownish what I'm about to show you because no person needs as many copies as the amount of copies that I now have of this release. But as I just got done saying, I love Taeyang and I will literally do anything for him. So here we are. <laughs> Yes, I am now the proud owner of six Tay Vogue covers. This is stunning though. Holy crap. I know it seems like overkill, but I have a vision, okay? What's up? I have a vision of what I can do with all of these and we're going to see how long it takes me to see that vision out, but I will do it because these are truly stunning so i'm sorry that's definitely not in frame but i didn't show it off on here i did show it off on instagram but i did also buy the original three copies and my absolute favorite honestly it's this one or the yellow balloon one are my favorite ones i love him i love that the v is a different color in vogue and yeah i'm obsessed with this photo shoot i keep looking for it i've already looked through it it's not too long Oh, here it is. Here we go. I've already looked through it all. The pictures are literally stunning. And he's so cute. He's so cute. So that is why I now own six copies of the same magazine. Because why not? Why not? So there is that. This is, like I said, the end of this little mail clip. But I will probably be seeing you later today if my stuff comes on time for me to be able to film an unboxing which I'm so excited for because it is a lot of Dalmajong merch, so stay tuned. Okay, and we're back. It is a couple hours later. The mail has come, and I'm going to save these three because they're all in the same vein, and I will open this one first because it is kind of the odd one out, but we are still very excited to have it. So let's get into it. I feel like I've been sending out really strange sized things lately, so these kind of bubble mailers are perfect. Well, you can see what it is. So I did buy Namjoon's Jogger PC set because how could I not? <laughs> how could I not, honestly? If you saw my last update video, then you know also why. Oh, it's never been opened before, okay. Stressful, yay, oh my God. <laughs> This is ridiculous. <laughs> I'm so happy I own this card. Yay, okay, amazing. I'm going to repackage this later because I don't trust anything that comes from Hybe, but that is Namjoon's Jogger PCs. Let's get into the main event though. I peeled the address information off of this one. So sorry, the box looks like that. Haven't actually opened it yet. I just ripped it off. So this is from McKinley. McKinley let me send like all my Dalmajon merch to her caddy. And she also sorted everyone's mini photo cards. So to have the right amount of cards for Dalmajong because there's the two special PC sets unfortunately i wish they would freaking stop doing that you have to buy 15 sets so i bought 15 sets for dalmajong <laughs> but i did get ot7 except for one special yungi card i really don't buy a lot of merch but there was something about this dalmajong and the merch i liked so much of it that i ended up getting a lot more merch stuff than i normally would so this is the, I don't know, I'm gonna guess it's the necklace, but I guess we'll find out. I did have one travesty. My cardigan PCs got completely destroyed because Weverse doesn't care about any of us. <laughs> this is the necklace. So I got the necklace because I wanted the photo cards. Not gonna lie, I'm a gold jewelry kind of girly, so I probably will not wear this, but it's very cute and I like the little bag. It comes in and the box that around so I don't dock her name. Okay, sure. So what could this be? Is this maybe the stamp? Yeah, it is. Oh, oh 
Oh, he's so beautiful. So I missed out on getting Jimin's stamp in the first round, but she did secure it for me when it restocked. So I will be getting Jimin's stamp as well. This is seriously so pretty. I gotta buy some ink, but that is his stamp photo card. It's so pretty. So let me try to continue to not dox her name. Control. So we'll start with these and then we'll get into the cards. I did get the two-way bag, which is crazy that I bought something that didn't even come with photo cards, but I really, really liked how the bag looked. And I also carry around bags this size all the time. And so that is the bag. I'm so happy I bought this. So I actually, I bought this for my friend. I kept the photo cards and my friend wanted the cardigan. So we split it and there we go. There's a cardigan for her. But unfortunately for me, my cardigan PCs got smushed. I think she said something about it getting folded over the tag or something. So my cardigan PCs got completely destroyed by weavers. So that is unfortunate, but whatever. I will now take out all of my sets. Okay, I believe I got all the dupe packages open, so let's see what are in these. I assume the washi tape means something, you know, because Miss McKinley has big brain energy, so <laughs> here we go. Yeah, so here is, I guess I should do that nicer. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Prison. Here is Namjoon's full set. They're literally so beautiful i'm so happy i did them all like so stunning and then here are the specials so look at him look at the highlighter on his cheek go off and they're so beautiful the end so there is juni so these must be my cardigan pcs because they're crazy damaged so let's look at jen first so pretty. The moon. There's Jin's specials. So cute. So my poor cardigan PCs got completely destroyed <laughs> by Weavers. It's really sad. I've had bends and stuff happen before with merch, but never this bad. Usually it's stuff that could be fixed, but yeah, no, that's that's tragic that's literally tragic so yeah that is the kind of damage that i personally can't deal with i'm not keeping those ones yungi's is actually the one that i was missing so this is my extra specials i'm assuming oh my god he's so pretty that is why i have an extra Jin and jk because we did not fully complete ot7 i am missing one of Yoongi's specials. It's so pretty. I love this card. Wow. Wow. The flowers in the mouth. A plus from me. So cute, Hobie. Okay. Very cute. I'm not gonna lie. It's not like I'm biased or anything, but Jimin's is my favorite. I think Jimin and are my favorite which isn't always the case okay I promise I know they are my alts but I just really like Jimin's short hair I like that you can see his tattoo in some of them and I just really like like I love that I love being able to see the youth card so I will say Beeman probably have my favorite sets for Dalmajong but that doesn't always happen like look at that with a little youth peeking out that was made for me <laughs> and his selfie cards are just i would frame these they're so beautiful they're some of my favorite mini pcs of him of all time i think truly they're so pretty all right on to tt i'm not a huge fan of the way his selfie cards look but the actual set itself i think is just so pretty the man's always got a flower in his mouth and look at his eyes so beautiful yeah i'm obsessed with these so cute i assume my necklace pcs are gonna be in here 
so we can look at those. Yay! At least these ones didn't get destroyed. Here they are from the necklace. They're so funny. They're so far away. <laughs> I definitely like the cardigan BCs better, but these are cute too. They're kind of like postcards. Hmm, maybe that did get a little bend, but that's fine. I don't care. That's the kind of damage I don't care about because that will flatten out over time. But these are hilarious. Like, I'm sorry. Why did they do it so far away? Anyway, now we have JK's set. Beautiful. It's so pretty. I was going to say, where's his flower in the mouth? He's got to have one, right? He does. Oh, he's so cute. And we got a little newt. We got a little newt newt. I hope you're not causing anyone issues. <laughs> little newt newt JK. <laughs> Yay, I'm so happy. He looks stunning as always. They all do. And so that is that from McKinley's package. It's everything that I got outright for Dalmajong. So I will say we still have two packages left to open. And you know, the devil works hard, but my Sunday rest works harder. So first, I was able to find a good little trade for Yoongi's special. So actually, we have Yoongi's complete. Hey, Yoongi marry me. So I will put him where he's supposed to go so we can actually complete his set. Actually complete OT7 Dalmajong now. And then last but not least, I mean, I'm sure you can guess what it is if you just heard me say the devil works hard, but I work harder. Replacement card can be seized because of course, of course, okay? I was not gonna let that be okay. Especially because I really like the card can be seized. I think they're better, the selfies, than the farther away shots that we got from the necklace. So I really did want these and I wanted them in better condition. So there they are. <laughs> the replaced cardigan PCs, so cute. I love them. Okay, that is the end of this clip. Very Dalmajong heavy. Thank you once again to McKinley. It was truly so much work for her to do all of this and to sort 90 mini card photo packs, but I'm truly so, so grateful for all the work that you put in. For Dalmajong, I'm done with the exception of I still have Jim and Stamp to come in, and then I also ordered the Fabric Diary because I have no self-control. I also got the Fabric Diary, but other than that, that's a wrap on Dalmajong for me. Again, all credit to McKinley, so Thank you very much, and I will see you all in the next clip. Welcome back, everyone. I apologize for the atrocious lighting. It's much later in the day than when I normally film, but I got some exciting more mail in that I wanted to show you. Stay tuned for a binder update where I will be putting some stuff into this binder and moving more of my A5 collection around. Moving on to more stuff that I have taken out, but I had to, okay? I ordered the collector's edition. I was originally gonna host a go for the global because it was so expensive with the shipping and then I wasn't gonna do the go anymore. I joined my own go and then that go got canceled and then I was like, okay, in my head, there's gonna be another restock. I'll just save for the restock and get the restock, right? So I ended up just getting it in the US store. I'm not going to unbox the whole thing on camera because it's really heavy. <laughs> I can't even lie, it was so heavy and hard to bring into my apartment. My noodle arms are not, <laughs> they were not prepared for how heavy that collector's edition is. But I'm really grateful to have it. I really like these cards. I don't have the lenties pulled out. The lenties are a little thick. I feel like I'm not going to display them in my binder, but maybe I'll change my mind. But for now, I think I'm going to keep the lenties in the actual large contraption that is the collector's edition. Big body. So yeah, I just wanted to show that these beautiful cards have joined the bunch. And these cards are actually why I need to split my Korean and Japanese photo card album binder, which truly makes me so sad because if you haven't seen the video of me reorganizing my Japanese binder setup, it's truly one of my favorite videos I've ever filmed ever because I had such a good time creating 
how the Japanese section in my binder looks by picking all the fillers out and making sure everything looked the way that I wanted it to. But unfortunately, just because there's way too much that has been released since B as it relates to album inclusions, I seriously, I don't have any room in my Korean album binder anymore if I'm going to add all of this stuff in there. And then also with the vinyls coming out, I will be collecting OT7 for those as long as they keep coming out as a full set that you just automatically get. So the binder is already incredibly full and it just, unfortunately, it breaks my heart. It does not have enough room. <laughs> There's not enough room for everything. So that's why I'm going to put my Japanese collection into an A5. So that's happening. Like I said, I'm excited for the A5, but I'm also really sad to lose my Japanese layout because I really, really liked it, but it's okay. The collection is constantly changing and evolving. So it certainly keeps it interesting, that's for sure. I really like these cards. I have a feeling they probably won't fit in a six vertical. They're so pretty, I will forgive them. I really, really liked this concept. Anyway, I know this looks very strange, but when I got to my mailbox today and saw this envelope, knowing what I thought was in it, I was kind of horrified and I wanted to make sure everything was in it. I haven't opened up the actual cards or anything, but I needed to peek in here to see how this was packaged. This came from Japan. I'm not pleased with how it was packaged, but it does seem that at least everything that's supposed to be here is here. So if you can tell, we can see Mr. Ginger Yungi. These are Memories of 2021 DVD photo cards. If you remember from past videos, I did pull 94Z. So I did keep Namjoon's obviously because I'm collecting his. And then I did need to buy the remaining three. So that is this package right here. They're all here and hopefully they're all gonna be safe. But like I said, that packaging, when I opened up my mailbox, I was like, there's no way there are three memories DVD photo cards in that little envelope, but whatever, as long as they're all here. <laughs> Here's Jimin's, very cute. Yeah, he looks to be in good condition. Don't see any crazy marks, so that's always a good sign. Let's look at Yoongi's, yay, and he looks amazing as well. My chronic need to just put them in age order. <laughs> and then Tay Tay. The man that you are. What a look. What a shoulder. Now both my alts have shoulder PCs. I love that for me. He's in good condition. Yay! All right. I'm so excited. I will see you soon. I wish I could also just keep watching the video and immediately have the stuff in my hands. But anyway, see you soon. Hello. We reached the end of this mail video. It's actually October 17th. So... No tears this time though. We're good. It's fine. I'm not going to say anything because A, I will have already uploaded a video before this. So I don't want to say anything because this video is going to be pretty far out. And also who knows what could possibly have been announced between now and when this video is going up. So all I will say is I will wait forever and I love them. BTS forever. Anyway, into these now though. These are two of the most exciting things that I've gotten in so long. And so let's open them. One of them is a rare item. And then the other one I don't think is considered rare, but it is incredibly hard to get nowadays just because it's older. So let's start with it. You're going to be able to see what it is right away. So if you follow me on Instagram, you already know what it is. <laughs> but yay. These are Jimin's begins photo cards it's not the full set there are oh my gosh how many are there in here four there are four in here so i think it's numbers two three four five there are seven in the set so i do have number one of his so i'm just looking for six and seven to complete the set which is truly a sentence that i never thought i would utter i was able to get these for an incredibly good price from a former Jimin collector. So I'm really grateful that I was able to buy them. I felt like it went it went really quick. I was trying to check out as fast as humanly possible because it was on the Gom Drop website and I'm just so happy. I'm so happy that I got these because these were the one thing that I wanted from that drop. So yeah, like I said, I'm only missing six and seven. 
The problem with these is that they just don't come up for sale often. When they do, they're really expensive. And a lot of times I feel like I see it being sold as a complete set. So I am hopeful, but I also know that it's okay if I if I never complete this set, it's okay. I am happy though because I got these for such a good price that I can kind of spend a little bit more on six and seven than maybe I normally would want to because per card, these were so well priced. This is number two. He's so cute. It'd be fun if I could get his six and seven because then I'd have a complete nine pocket page because I also have one of Yoongi's Begins cards and I also have one of Tay's Begins cards. So it'd be a nice full page of Begins. So this is four, five. You can really never predict what listing you will see and when. I certainly getting multiple of Jimin's Begins tour PCs, let alone four of them in one year was certainly not on my bingo card for 2022. So you can really just never say never. And that's three. This is probably my favorite one. This is so cute. So yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. I really, I can't, I can't believe it. And then this last thing is, like I said, I believe it's considered a rare item. I, you know, I'm not really into the politics of what is rare and what is not. I do fully recognize that people overuse the word rare when perhaps they mean hard to get and in demand. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure that this item is a rare item. If not, feel free to correct me. But it's something that I've really always wanted and I finally found the right listing. So, this is just blocking my name, so ignore that. Are you ready? Oh, my goodness. It is Tay's High Touch Malaysia postcard. These were handed out, I think there's 500 of them or something. They were handed out to people who went to the event by the actual members so this isn't a real signature or anything it's printed on it but it was handed over by tay to whoever was the original owner of this but i really liked this one because i had been looking at another one it was in much worse condition than this one was and actually the one in worse condition cost more so i'm so happy i didn't end up going for that one because then i found this one and as you can see, there's some yellowing around the corners, but in general, it's one of the best condition ones I've seen. There's some wear in the corners too, but the other one that I was looking at had some big dents here and was very yellow on the back. I'm definitely gonna try to seal this to protect it, and I'm so happy. I'm definitely going to put it into my tour binder, and hopefully I will also be able to find Jimin's as well because I would really like this. But there is that. So quite the end to this mail haul. I really do hope that you enjoyed. As always, I should be having a binder update coming up soon. So I hope everyone is hanging in there and doing okay. And I send you all the best. Please leave a like if you did enjoy, comment if you would like to, and subscribe if you wanna see more content from me. Hope you're having a good day and I will see you all very soon. Goodbye. Get the hell out.